What's up everyone, this is Soul with another add-on video. I have a whopping two add-ons to show you. I'm actually live on stream because, well, reasons, but it's good to be here. I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe for more content in case you want me to feature more add-ons and, you know, do my whole commentary, discussion, stupid jokes and all that. Uh, so again, today, uh, two add-ons that I want to uh, bring up, one of which is called Protoform Synthesis Field Journal. And here it is right here. It is a very simple informational type of add-on that lets you know how your progress is going with regards to the Protoform Synthesis feature, the thing in Zerith Mortis that lets you make tons of pets and mounts. And this just kind of gives you a snapshot of where you're at. So you can kind of see here, can I make this bigger? Nope, can't make it bigger, sorry. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in. So as we zoom in right here, you can kind of see uh, just how, uh, you know, how progressed are we? Do we have the items that we need for a thing? Like for example, this archetype of cunning, this lets me make a pet, whoop de doo But as we scroll down, we can see that there are things that are missing. And as we scroll down even further, you can see things that are totally grayed out. And that's because we don't have the recipe for these particular items. So off I go. Now, unfortunately, this, this doesn't give all the information that I'd like to see. I'd like to see things like, where do we get the recipe? Where do we get the lattices and the discovery things and these other glimmers? So it doesn't give all the information, but it does give, like I said, a pretty good snapshot of what's going on. Now, there are some settings for it. I had to use like a slash command in order for it to come up for the first time. I'll, tie, I'll show you what that is in, in just a bit somewhere on screen. Uh, but then there are some settings that are off by default such as being able to mouse over the reagents so you can see how many you have or where they are on other characters, uh, showing a mini map button. And by the way, this does uh, this is compatible with the likes of mini map button bag. So if I, I have it on right here, and if I click here on the side, I'll be able to see, hey, there's that button right over there, and it can come right back up. Um, I could also have the option to hide things under certain conditions, like if I've already collected things, I can hide stuff. If I don't have the recipe or the schematics for it, I can also hide it too, but that doesn't seem to be very important at all. And that is it for this particular add-on. Go me. The other add-on that I wanted to mention is called Demodal. And this is a very special add-on that, one, it allows you to move things all over the screen. It's very similar to another add-on that I have currently and I still use actively. It's called Blizzmove. Uh, which lets me like resize stuff and all that. And Demodal is supposed to be able to add this sort of feature on its own too. So who knows, maybe uh, Blizzmove is ready to retire uh, as soon as Demodal is able to update a little bit more. What's cool about this particular add-on though, is that it also unleashes the ability to view multiple uh, window panels at once. Now, as you know, back in 2004, you're only able to have a screen size that's like so big. And the WoW team, they wanted to make a game that didn't have too much clutter. Not with add-ons, that's our thing. But with regards to like uh, window panels and whatnot, they don't want, uh, they didn't want the screen to be uh, too cluttered. Of course, times have changed though. We have like big monitors, wide monitors. People were playing on giant TVs and stuff. And now there's just a lot more space to hold more stuff. And so with Demodal, you're able to see you're able to basically uh, click on other panels or open other panels without them interfering with one another and closing each other. So if I wanted to have these open, but I, and I wanted to also look at uh, my talents, I also wanted to look at my achievements. Now, of course, this is edge case, but if we wanted to have these, uh, you know, all these things open at once, uh, we can do so, except for the shop. The shop and the game menu, they will override everything else and otherwise cause uh, and otherwise cause problems. But I think this is a pretty cool add on because uh, there, there are a lot of situations where I might be crafting stuff. And as I'm crafting, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do in the meantime? Oh, well, I'll, let me look at some other stuff in game and I'll be open up. I'll be opening multiple, uh, multiple panels. And when I open up a certain panel, like the dungeon journal or something, all of a sudden everything will close, including my crafting. And that's is you know, slightly infuriating. Demodal prevents that from happening, and that's pretty much all that this does. Uh, and so it's a, it's a pretty easy to use add-on. There are no settings for it. It just works. You can move stuff and, and, and you know, do whatever you want, move things around. Um, the only thing that I'm not too sure about is uh, resetting windows. Uh, you can reload your UI 
to reset all the settings. Uh, if you're using Blizzmove, you can at least like uh, reset the um, the sizing and positioning of, of that stuff, you know, in case you're like moving stuff around. Uh, but otherwise, pretty easy to use. And that's pretty much it. Those are the two add-ons that I have to mention for today, and I hope that these are useful. You can find links to those below, and if you have any other add-ons that you think are kind of low-key, new to the game, uh, and you think that they deserve a little bit of love and uh, an exposure, feel free to mention them below. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Until, that, until then, though, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Thank you.